Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of the I'm First Summer video series. I am Chelsea and I am here to chat with you a little bit about sort of I'm First or First Generation life hacks. Um, so these will be points and tips that will really help you sort of understand your identity as a first generation student. So this isn't like some of our other videos where, you know, we tell you to, you know, get a summer job and, you know, look at these SAT apps on your phone to make sure you're prepared. But this is just talking about the experience of being a first generation student on campus and the importance of a few things um, that will really sort of make your experience a lot better. Um, so we're just going to be real and be honest in this video and just count down about maybe three or four sort of key points that I really want you to understand um, as a first generation student uh, who has completed high school and is heading to college. So number one, knowing that the experience is brand new for you and your family. I know a lot of times first gen students we like to know it all. A lot of times we, you know, through the college ap application process, uh, we've done it by ourselves. So we're kind of like, we got to find answers. We got to be able to do X, Y, and Z. And that's a-okay. The, you know, the, the grit and, and, and drive is awesome. But know that the experience is new. So if there isn't something that you know, that's perfectly fine. I know a lot of times first generation students, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Not only us, but our families put a lot of pressure on us and our communities and our schools put a lot of pressure on us. Um, but it's because they know we can do great things. But understanding that, you know, you don't know everything in the process and you may make mistakes in the process and that's a-okay. Number two is sort of understanding that this journey is your own. Um, and when I say that, I'm really talking about sort of doing what it is that you want to do a lot of times our families and our friends and our teachers and our communities are saying oh man you're so good at math you should be a mathematician or you should go into the stem program or you should be a lawyer or, you should be a doctor or you should go to business school and while obviously your family and friends and mentors and counselors have nothing but the best intentions in mind for you realizing that this process and this journey is your own so for instance, my grandma wanted me to be a lawyer. So I was like, okay. So I went to school, actually sort of was on the pre-law track, but then I decided I don't like law. This isn't a thing I want to do. So I just decided to do something else. Um, so just understand that this process and this journey is your own. So if you don't do what your mom wants, it's a-okay. If you, you know, if your mom wants you to be a politician and you want to be an artist be an artist do what it is that your heart desires um, because at the end of the day you have to face yourself and you have to be happy with the decisions that you make so definitely be sure to understand that this process while you know you have support and help and encouragement from others this is just this is really a journey of your own number three is one thing that a lot of us are going to struggle with and I kind of touched on it in point one but is um, realizing that you're going to fail at something. And that's a okay. Um, again, this is a journey and this is an area in life that you've never experienced. Um, so there will be times where, you know, you were a straight A student in high school, but then you got to college and after your first semester you saw that, okay, I got a D in English 101 or I got a, you know, whatever course it is, whoa what you know what happened that's a lot that's sort of a, a shock that happens to them and it can be a bit strange and it can be very discouraging um, but never let sort of the small failures discourage you again you've never been through this process it's a learning experience yeah you're gonna trip yeah you're gonna stumble you're gonna fall but be okay with not being perfect all the time but also having the determination to get back up and to do it right again the next time. So, okay, yeah, you got the D. Cool, Ds are never cool, but that's okay. Make sure that you work toward bringing that D up to a B or to an A. So again, being okay with failing and understand you're not the only one um, and understand that this is new territory for you and that is something that you're getting used to. So definitely, uh, try not to get discouraged and try not to be, 
you know, be so hard on yourself. I know a lot of times first-gen students were our own worst critics, but understanding, you know, that it's a new journey for, for you and it's something that you're just going to have to get used to and adjust accordingly. And lastly, um, just live in the moment. College is a great time um, to, uh, to study and to be academic, but also to be social. There are so many opportunities um, that will come to you as a college student. And I know a lot of times first-gen students were all about, okay, you know, I, I'm the only one in my family that made it to college. I need to focus on my studies, study, 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 and that's it. Um, being focused on your academics and studies is very important, but there are other aspects of college that um, are important as well in terms of, uh, you know, your individual growth. So join some clubs and, you know, study abroad or, you know, get an off-campus job or just get some type of experience that will allow you to grow as a person. And also, one thing that um, a lot of first-gen students tend to do sometimes is sort of become so enveloped in their own, you know, world and what they're doing that they sort of forget not intentionally about uh, but about others. So always remember, you know, this is a journey for you, but this is also a journey for your parents and your siblings and your mentors and your counselors and all of that. So just always remember that they're there to support you um, and they're all they're along for the ride just like you are. And never forget that there are there there are people there that want to help you. I know a lot of times, you know, we're so independent as being first gen and we don't want to reach out for help, but help is there. So never forget to utilize that help. It is not a sign of weakness at all. It's a sign of strength because it shows that you know we need assistance. So never be afraid to ask for help because again, we don't know it all. Um we think we do, but we don't. So following some of these really quick first gen life hacks will make your experience a lot easier. Um, and a lot less stressful. Just, you know, chill out and just enjoy the moment as being a first generation college student. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope I gave you some cool life hacks that'll make you feel a little bit better about your transition to college. Um, in the meantime, be sure to follow us on our social media uh, platforms. We have Facebook and we have Twitter and we also have our YouTube page that we want you to check out each week for new videos. So um, in the meantime, you have an amazing week um, in whatever it is that you're doing. And always remember that, you know, you're first gen, you're awesome, and you can do it all. So, you know, try not to be discouraged. Try to keep your head up at all times. And in the meantime, we will see you guys next week. Have a great day.